Disney has so much dining available, but what's perfect for date night? The Carousel of Douglas has your back. Let's go. Hello and welcome to the Carousel of Douglas, where today we're gonna to talk about that all important date night. You finally found a way to have someone watching your kids because there's lots of great services out there at Disney for that, or you're there on a time together where you're finally gonna go out and have a nice night together. Well, this is where I come in and I'm gonna give you the best tips on where to eat in Disney for date night. Let's go. We have a number of selections for you today, and our choices are going to be the most romantic, the most adventurous, the most entertaining, the best in a park, and the best on a budget. At the end, we're gonna have a little bit of an honorable mention from Michelle. Looking forward to that too. Our first restaurant is our most romantic. <sighs> <laughs> Sorry. Anyway, our choice for most romantic is the California Grill on top of the Contemporary Resort. We're talking one of the best restaurants on property. It's really hard to get a reservation there, but if you can, it is totally worth it. It's a beautiful setting. The food is exceptionally well-rounded. They have everything from steak to chicken, but they also have soups, seafood, vegetarian dishes, sushi, and the sushi is incredible. And they even have a brunch. So if you're not looking for a dinner time date, you can go to an amazing brunch at the California Grill. One of my favorites is that they have an amazing bourbon and whiskey list, and Michelle loves the wine list at the California Grill. We cannot recommend the California Grill any higher, especially for one last thing, the fireworks viewing. Oh my goodness, is it incredible. Not only can you watch it from your table if you're lucky to get a time close to fireworks, if you bring back your receipt because you weren't there at the time the fireworks are going off, you can come back, go out onto the ledge and watch them from outside. It's incredible to see the Magic Kingdom fireworks happily ever after from the top of the California Grill is just amazing and probably one of the most romantic places you're gonna eat at in Disney World. Our next restaurant is the most adventurous, where we're talking more about an adventurous palette, but it's also in an adventurous place. We're talking about Jiko, the cooking place over at the Animal Kingdom Lodge, my personal favorite restaurant on all of Walt Disney property. And I gotta tell you, that menu is incredible. With the South African inspired menu, with everything from wild boar tenderloins, which I love, to all kinds of other items on the menu with a little bit of an extra spicy flair or something to just makes it a little bit different from what you might be used to. Adventurous eaters will love it, but if you're not an adventurous eater, however, like Michelle, you don't need to worry. It's got a great menu for people that don't really want to go all out and eat at an adventurous place while also being in an amazing setting at the Animal Kingdom Lodge. I can't recommend Jiko any higher. It's incredible. The food has always come out good, consistently, time after time. So our most adventurous restaurant is Jiko. Go check that one out at the Animal Kingdom Lodge. Our next restaurant that we're going to recommend is the most entertaining, with the longest running stage show in America, if not the world, at Hoop De Doo Review at Fort Wilderness. I cannot tell you how much I love that show. That show is entertaining, foot stomping, hysterical, and the musicians and performers are top notch. One of the reasons why we recommend it for a great date night is that they actually go around the audience and ask people what they're celebrating. They don't care if it's your first anniversary, your 50th anniversary, your 20th birthday, or maybe it's your 17th wedding anniversary. They will celebrate it with you. And the food is awesome. Fried chicken, ribs, baked beans, cornbread, and straw, strawberry, strawberry short, strawberry short cake. You'll get it if you go. You have to try it. Oh, and one last thing. 
included in the meal besides the entertainment is unlimited sangria, wine, and yingling beer. That's pretty awesome. And you don't find that anywhere on property except for Hoopty Doo. Hoopty Doo, awesome. Our next dining recommendation is the best in a park. And the one that we recommend is La Cellier at Epcot at the Canada Pavilion. We cannot recommend that restaurant any higher for the fact that it's got amazing steaks. Michelle always gets the filet and it's always come out perfect. I like the ribeye and the ribeye there is perfectly seasoned and always cooked to perfection. We also recommend the cheddar cheese soup and the bread service with that pretzel roll. Oh, just to die for. And the setting is gorgeous. You're down in a wine cellar, so it's dimly lit and you kind of have this very, very intimate feel to it. Just an amazing place in the park. Now, one thing we gotta tell you, that place books up quickly. La Cellier reservations are one of the toughest to get and have been for years. You have to go on the 180 day mark and get that reservation. Currently, reservations are at 60, so you gotta do it at the 60 day mark. But either 180 or 60, you gotta go for it right away. La Cellier, oh, just an incredible date night, and if you're still in a park, can't beat it. All right, our final choice is the best date night dining on a budget. Look, we know Disney food is expensive, and if you're constantly eating out at Disney, those bills just rack up. And let's just say that sometimes you just can't break the bank to go out on date night. But if you can't, we have a restaurant that we highly recommend, and I think it's gonna surprise you. We actually recommend for date night, 50's Primetime Cafe at Hollywood Studios. It's so much fun. You feel like a kid going out to a diner if you remember that kind of a date when you were younger, oh, it just makes you feel like a kid again. You have all your cousins who play jokes and pranks on you. Mom's in the kitchen. And the food is comfort food. Fried chicken, meatloaf, and all sorts of other things that are just standards in a great menu. And that peanut butter and jelly milkshake is so good, I constantly hunt around where I live here in Philadelphia for a place that makes one that's the same. I've never found one yet. I highly recommend sharing that PB&J milkshake with your date. It is so romantic and it's fun to be silly sometimes. 50's Primetime Cafe at Disney's Hollywood Studios. The hidden gem that no one knows about that won't break the bank. All right, now we're gonna have an honorable mention with Michelle. Let's go check that out. Hey everyone, Michelle here. Just here with a quick honorable mention. Um, on our last trip, we went to Topolino's Terrace for the first time, and it's at the top of the Riviera Resort. And I think it's my new favorite restaurant on property. The service was incredible, and the whole experience was wonderful. Um, we got to spend a good amount of time there, um, just sitting down, enjoying our drinks, going over the menu, having our waiter explain everything to us. And at the end of the evening, we were able to go out on the balcony and just look at the view and and take it all in. And it was a wonderful experience and I'm really excited to be able to go back there again, hopefully on our next trip. And I just wanted to make sure that we got this in as an honorable mention, um, as this is a restaurant I really enjoy. I can't wait to go back to, and I hope you all get to check it out and you enjoy it as much as I did. Look, I have to say that I totally agree with Michelle. Topolino's Terrace was incredible. We've only eaten there once, so I don't want to put it on this list yet, but, she said that we have to have that as an honorable mention. So there you go. So there you have it, folks. Our choices for the best dining in Disney World for date night. We hope you've enjoyed this video. Hey, if you liked it, we'd really love it if you give it a thumbs up. And if you extra liked it, well, hitting the subscribe button would be awesome. And well, you know, if you hit the bell notifications, we do lots of videos like this. We try to put them out at least twice a week. I hope you've enjoyed it. And I don't like to say goodbye because I'm going to see you real soon. So see you bye.